If you're an investor in the Windy City and you are looking for cash flow, you're going to want to watch today's show to the end. Don't be clicking off halfway through or you're going to miss the numbers. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV, and I'm talking to you folks out there in the Windy City, man, the Chicago land area, home of Kanye friggin' West, baby. Y'all hear that he's getting divorced from Kim, man? Damn, dude, that that one cut me deep. But uh, we're gonna have to move on, just like Kanye's gonna have to move on. And listen, folks, here's the deal: Chicago, it's expensive, man. It's expensive to buy property in Chicago. The uh, cash flow numbers in the Chicago land market, in my opinion, I think they stink, really. I it's tough, dude. I don't I don't uh I don't think that that market is good for the cash flow investors, and I know for a fact it's not good for cash flow investors who are working with a modest budget, okay? Just like my man Roman, right? He's the man of the hour. That's what I do on this show, okay? I work with investors like Roman, perhaps like you, okay? I create personal videos for you I help you identify cash flowing properties I then represent you as your broker property manager uh, friggin plumber insurance title insurance, every anything and everything you need to invest in these cash flow properties my team handles and because of that they don't have to be where you live they don't have to be in Chicago they could be in the most cash flow positive markets right Markets where the properties are cheap. Markets like Cleveland, Ohio, which is what my man Roman's looking for. Because, Roman, your budget, it's modest, dude. You're about tapped out at about $150,000, right, with uh, financing, right? So you're, you're putting down 25% of that, right? What is that? It's like 25 k I don't know, plus like another like 10 or 12 you know, somewhere in the 34, 30 to 40 k range, right? In Chicago, there's nothing. Right, you can't do anything, man. You can't get a deal in Chicago, but you can in Cleveland, and that's where my on-the-ground team and expertise uh, really helps out, right? And today we're doing something even different than what I just explained, right? What else you can do is if you see a property that you think makes sense, you get my unbiased advice on that property before you decide to buy it right i'm not here to just sell you properties if the deal's a dud i'll tell you it's a dud this one that you sent me roman this triplex it's not a dud though this actually is a pretty solid deal as a matter of fact i looked at this uh several times already it's one of those ones where it was like on the market off the market on the market off the market now this is probably gonna stink to hear bro because uh you've been trying hard and dude it's a competitive market uh you've been putting out a lot of good offers there's nothing wrong with the offers you've been putting out but you've been getting outbid a lot just because the market's so freaking competitive uh so unfortunately you picked a solid deal but i know me and you were trying to shift your plan to where we're, we're kind of looking at properties that other people are not paying attention to i would say that's not going to be the case here because i put in multiple offers on this for other people that were also interested in this one and it was on the market off the market on the market off the market on the market so i'm like 99 percent confident it's going to be the same situation here where we're going to be in a bidding war so i know that's not what you want to hear you're like god damn man I'm, I'm back to freaking dealing with all these other people bidding and i might get in a bidding war uh probably gonna happen here bro but the deal is solid it all makes sense so let's uh hit up a quick commercial break and then i'll show you the numbers from my original analysis and you could tell me uh how much you'd like to bid because you're gonna love this one Forty-two eleven store ab cleveland 44109 been on the market four days we need to move. We need to move quick, right? The Cleveland market, yeah, as, as you're probably aware, it's insane, dude. There's just so many people uh, bidding on these properties because the price-to-rent ratios are nuts, right? The price-to-rent ratios in Cleveland are so much more attractive than the majority of the country. This particular property, in my opinion, uh, listed at a price point that's going to uh, be GAT 
a major bidding war, okay? $99,000. Now, we only have two photos because it's fully occupied, all right? That's okay, though, right? We got the front house here, right? We have a front house and we have a back house, okay? Between these two homes, right, we have three total units, right? And the market rent for each of these units is going to be $750, $750, and $900, right? Uh, the two $750 ones, those are duplex units, two ones. And then we have a separate two-family house, right? So $900, right? So it's even... Uh, more attractive than a traditional triplex, right? Because one is a full freaking house, okay? So you're looking at a market rent every month of 2400 or 28800 Now, as far as the price goes, they've listed at 99000 which just based upon that rent roll would seem super low. The reason they're pricing it that low is they do not have the rents up to market, right? So you're going to slowly need to increase those. Currently, they got people in there at 450 420 and 485 right? But that is one of the great things about real estate investing, man. If you guys know how to do this the right way, you can look at other people, maybe mom and pop landlords like this one who are running these properties, not as efficiently as they could. And that's how we create value. That's how we get these crazy deals, right? Because I tell you what, if this was a professional investor, a professional turn turnkey company, professional reseller, and they're bringing in $2,400 a month in rent currently, which is where this should be for the long haul. That's what Holton Wise will be able to target for you when we take over the management. You ain't selling it for 99 k dude. That doesn't make any sense because the numbers would be insane, right? $2,400 a month comes in, $28,800 a year after fixed and variable expense estimates, right? I anticipate this property costing an investor $13,096 a year on average to operate, leaving you with a $15,704 a year NOI. You pick it up at the price of $99,000, your mortgage down payment's only $24,750, right? How insane is that, right? $24,750 is all you need to bring to the table. Bank kicks in another $75K. That would be a 46.3% cash on cash return or a cap of 16. That is, of course, if we can get the tenants, all three of which, from where they currently are, up to market rent. Now, this is the show where I cut it to you straight. This is the show where I talk to you about transparency in the real estate business. Is it possible that we could take our three legacy tenants, our three inherited tenants, paying below market rent, again, 450, 420, 485? Can we possibly get them up to 750, 750, 900 without a turnover? Yes, it's possible. And I just gave you the numbers on what it would look like if we do that theoretically. However, in real world, is that practical? Probably not. I would say the odds are unlikely that you're going to get these three folks from where they currently are to market rent without at least doing one turnover, right? That's why when we run these numbers, we factor in vacancy, non-payment. We factor in repairs and maintenance, right? Because when you're a rental property investor, the majority of um, your repairs, right? They typically come at the turnover, right? People see like a repair estimate, like on this particular property, repairs and maintenance, we're estimating $120 a month. People see that and they get it like in their head, like, oh, I'm going to spend $120 every single month on repairs. No, it's not how it works, right? You're probably going to have like a tenant in there in that particular unit and you're going to go through like 10, 12, 14, 18 months of spending nothing. And then boom, when the tenant turns over, then you're dropping a few grand, things of that nature, right? That's how that works out, right? So, do I think that you can get those rents all the way up there without some type of turnover? Probably not, right? Maybe one, maybe two of the tenants, maybe we get them up. Uh, but I can't, you know, tell you with a certainty uh, how many of those tenants, uh, when and where that turnover is going to happen. So, right, as you're analyzing this property, think about making the investment. You have to understand that that is a risk, right? Turnover is part of the real estate investment business, right? Nobody gets rental properties and places tenants in there and gets 30, 40 year tenants all the time. That's just not practical, right? So, uh, what you have going for you is right now, 
they can't get comparable units like this for anywhere near those prices. So what I like to do to lower the probability that they're going to turn because you increase the rent is I don't like to go in and be like, yo, market rent's 900, you're paying 485. Next lease, boom, you got to pay 900. I think that is going to give you a high chance that they're just going to be like, oh, dude, I can't afford it, and they will move out, right? And then you're almost guaranteed to spend that money on a turn. What I like to do, I like to raise the rents nice and slow. 50 this year, 50 next year, right? It'll still cash flow. The price is so freaking cheap, it'll still cash flow at the current rent. So I like to go nice and slow and keep those butts in the units, right? Because we make our money in this business by turning our units over as few times as possible. If you own a apartment building, you own, let's say you own one unit, right, for 20 years, the guy who makes the most money is the guy who turns it over the least amount of times over those 20 years. So, 99000 is what they're asking. I think we got to offer 99000 at the minimum. You let me know what you want to offer. I do not anticipate anything other than a massive bidding war. If it were me, I'd probably be willing to kick 10 k above list price, but you let me know, and I'll write it up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.